Today, we're checking out an amazing new NTS-1 custom oscillator. Free beat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Mike Pounder. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So this is the Korg NTS-1. It's an affordable digital synthesizer and quite a capable uh, little effects box, actually. However, its greatest selling point, in my opinion, is the fact that through the Korg Log SDK, users can create their own custom oscillators and effects and then share those with the entire community online. And one of the most popular custom oscillators for the NTS-1 uh, is the Korg Volca Bass Oscillator that attempts to emulate the Korg Volca Bass on the NTS-1. And that oscillator was developed by Tweak, or Tweak. And I am very happy to announce that Tweak is at it again and has released a new custom NTS-1 oscillator. This one is called J6. Right off the bat, yes, that means this oscillator will allow your NTS-1 to play chords, which is super cool, and they sound great. Right now we have saw wave and square wave forms, uh, but Tweak has said that he plans on adding more in the future. But there is so much more crammed into this awesome oscillator. For instance, all 100 of the chord banks from the Roland J6 are here. Simply hold down oscillator and use the type knob here to go to chord. And now, if you use knob B, we have all 100 of the chord banks from the Roland J6. You can actually look up the manual and check them all out. You can hear some like split octave stuff there. There's a lot to uh, take in. Where things get even cooler is when we use the arpeggiator here. We hold that down and then we set this knob to one, which repeats a note. Then we go back to the oscillator button and we scroll to pattern. Now we can select different pattern play types. There are a lot of different pattern playback types. And of course, everything still works with the uh, filter and envelope as well. Now, I should make it very clear, I just did a terrible job of demonstrating what you can actually do with this oscillator, but even that jam right there, uh, in my opinion, sounded pretty darn cool and uh, hopefully inspired you to go check this one out. I should also mention there is a step sequencer, a transpose mode, uh, different pattern slots that you can save into. There's a lot in this oscillator. Oh yeah, did I mention it's free to download? In the description of this video, you will find a link to Tweak's video uh, releasing the J6. Uh, in that video, he actually has a download link for you to check out. So please be sure to check out his video and give this oscillator a shot. If you have never put a custom oscillator or effect onto your NTS-1, uh, also in the description of my video, I will include my tutorial on how to do just that. I'm not gonna super deep dive into the chord oscillator because Tweak does it far better than uh, I could or anyone else could because, well, he made it. But what I do want to talk about briefly is just what a powerhouse of a device the NTS-1 has really become uh, since it came out. Now, this launched in early 2020, I believe, for 99 US dollars. The price has gone up to 119 US dollars. But in terms of just sheer bang for your buck, this is up there with the best of the value devices. Even if we were just talking about the onboard features of this synth and effects unit, you know, and how good it sounds, uh, it would well be worth that price. But when you factor in the, you know, ability to route incoming audio into it and use it as an effects box, it just gets wild. And on top of that, we have 
all of these amazing users out there who have made custom oscillators and modulation effects and delay effects and reverb effects. And so many of them have actually given those to us for free. There are quite a few uh, paid ones out there as well, and there are some really cool paid ones too. But just if you're examining, you know, only the free uh, custom user content for the NTS one, you'll find a lifetime's worth of content to dig into and explore with just this box. Also, because I'm sure someone out there is wondering, yes, you can indeed control this synth via MIDI. It does take a 3.5 millimeter to five pin type A MIDI adapter, just like this one. You'll take that, you'll plug it into your normal five pin cable. You'll plug this into the MIDI in, plug this into the MIDI out of your controller. In this case, I'm using the Arturia Keystep 37. Let's get some power to the Keystep real quick here. Clearly not the uh, most elegant way to connect these two together on a desk, but it does indeed work. Just an amazing oscillator on an amazing device. I just want to give a huge shout out to Tweak for making this amazing oscillator. Click the link in the description, go check out his video on it, and give it a download. It is amazing. I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too, doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way though, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, new content every single day. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.